series of the subject basics of automotive system my name is bhagirip kalan from lj institute of engineering and technology today we will discuss the unit first in this uh, topic number 1 that is a automobile basics the first topic in this chapter that is a automobile basics okay so let me understand the what is the objective of this subject uh, after learning this subject what will we understand in this subject first one uh, expression of automobile chassis that is a uh, basically some units we divided the subject like a power units okay and transmission system and uh, basic structure control system in control system two types like a braking system and a steering mechanism or steering system auxiliary and superstructure now basic structures is divided in a frame suspension system axles and wheels these are the our uh, divide in a uh, sub categories okay the first is two objective is to develop understanding about a various automobile system how uh, how to will learn various system how to work how to function how to assembles in a vehicle this is the objective and uh, we understand all the uh, automobile system second one is uh, to impart concept of modern automotive control and safety features self controls like a uh, abs system braking systems and steering system and uh, suspension system are the control system comes under the control system safety system like airbag or etc these are the safety system which we understand in this our subject and how it work and how it is uh, introduced in a nowadays and modern days okay next is uh, classification and layout of the automobile various types of automobile layout and classification we will learn in this our subject next is chassis frame and body what do you mean by the chassis frame what is difference between chassis and frame and body which we will uh, learn in next topic okay next is uh, various types of suspension system what do you mean by the suspension system how it work how it helpful our vehicle suspension system it is required or not or what is the function okay next is a uh, transmission system. the main uh, main important topics which we learn in this our subject that is a, a transmission system that is the transmission system is power is transmitted from engine to the wheel by using of gearbox semi automatic system or autom uh, autom automatic transmission system electric drive which are the various types of power transmission sources from engine to or uh, wheel okay next is drive line what is a drive line drive line is nothing but it is a, a component which uh, transmit a power from engine to the rear wheel okay next is braking system to stop or reduce the speed of the vehicle we use the braking system that is a braking system we will learn about the braking system how it work various types of braking system hydraulic brake electrical brake or uh, next uh, conventional brake drum brake shoe brake which are the various types of braking system its function latest braking system that is a abs anti lock braking system next is a various types of tire a different classification of tire tires and wheel which we will study in our this subject automotive our subject basics of automotive system next is final drive and rear drive this is the final topic that is a final drive and a rear axles okay so uh, this is the anatomy of an automobile this uh, layout diagram is a four wheel drive layout four wheel drive layout how it work and which in this in this uh, pictures we will uh, understand that uh, which type of component we will study in our subject first is this like a, now here is a transmission system engine power is transmitted to the gearbox with the help of clutch from gearbox it is transmitted to differential with the help of propeller shaft here two propeller shaft is used because of this is a four wheel drive this is a four wheel drive in between a transfer case is used to distribute the power to distribute the power to uh, rear wheel drive and front wheel drive we used a transfer case okay now from differential from differential power is transmitted to the to uh, to rear wheel okay and similarly uh, in fr uh, front wheel drive uh, power is transmitted to front to two wheels okay next component is the suspension system this is our suspension system we will study about suspension system this is a brake and this is a tire system this is our 
main to, a main is a steering system steering system it is used to turn left right or movement of the wheel by using a steering system okay next is propeller shaft this is the drive line which is used to power transmit engine to rear wheel or front wheel okay and this is our total body of the system chassis body and frame we will uh, separately discuss in our sub syllabus or in our subject okay next is history of automobiles history of automobile how it generated how it developed how it comes automobiles and that is the history of automobiles first is what is the meaning of automobile first let me understand the what is the meaning of automobile automobile is nothing but it is a self propelled vehicle self propelled vehicle which is used to trans transport passenger and goods from one place to another place on ground that is called a automobile a self propelled vehicle used for transportation of goods and passenger on the ground is called automobile okay next question is that uh, what is the mean of the self propelled vehicle okay a self propelled vehicle is nothing but it is a, a, a power is generated itself in the body for propulsion or motion in forward or reverse direction of vehicle that is known as a self propelled vehicle self propelled vehicle means power self propelled vehicle that is a power itself generate generate itself is known as a self propelled vehicle example of automobile like moped scooter motorcycle car jeep truck tractor ship aircraft rocket etc okay a vehicle producing power within itself for its propulsion is known as a self propelled vehicle different from aeronautical vehicle automobile vehicle and aeronautical vehicle aeronautical vehicle comes like a plane helicopters rocket etc in marine vehicle ships boat and submarine are the marine vehicles basically three types one is a auto aeronautical okay another is a marine vehicles and is a automobile okay next is a first automobile cognot steam trolley first automobile which uh, which framed that is a cognot cognot steam trolley steam engine powered which is uh, by power is uh, induced or generated by the with the help of steam that's why it is known as a steam engine powered in 1768 in 1768 by the scientist cognot okay next is carl bench okay the inventor of first gasoline gasoline that means uh, petrol diesel etc that is a fuel gasoline gasoline powered in automobile in 1886 carl bench by carl bench the bench patented uh, motor wagons in 1886 first production car powered it by an ic engine of capacity of 954 uh, cubic centimeter and power is developed in that engine is a uh, 0.67 hp or we can say 0.5 kilowatt because 1 hp is equals to 0.746 kilowatt at rpm the engine uh, speed is a uh, 250 rpm next is uh, flocken electro wagon that is a uh, induced e vehicles we may made a e vehicle he made a e vehicle uh, in 1888 uh, world's first e car okay next is uh, henry ford we already know the ford vehicles okay henry ford american industrialist it is a american he is a uh, american industrialist ford motor company the founder of the first affordable motor car the founder of the first affordable motor car okay next classification of automobile next topic is a classification of automobiles which can divide the automobiles in a different types based on according to their purpose or uh, make and models and drive according to drive etc the first is a classification of automobile based on purpose okay the first one is a passenger vehicles car bus and motorcycle second is a goods vehicle lorry truck pickup next is based on the capacity okay heavy duty vehicle light load vehicles okay the medium vehicles in the small truck mini bus tempo etc are the medium comes under the medium vehicles next is light motor vehicle car jeep motor uh, motorcycle etc is a light motor vehicle lmv according to the capacity uh, rto makes your license to drive a vehicle lmv vehicle mv vehicles okay hmv heavy motor vehicles large truck okay large truck buses tractor it comes under the heavy motor vehicle 
नेक्स्ट इज बेस्ड ऑन द फ्यूल सोर्स बेस्ड ऑन फ्यूल सोर्सेज लाइक पेट्रोल इंजिन डीजल इंजिन व्हीकल गैस व्हीकल ऑटोमोबाइल स्टीम इंजिन व्हीकल ऑटोमोबाइल एंड हाइब्रिड इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल्स सोलर व्हीकल इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल हाइड्रोजन व्हीकल एंड हाइब्रिड व्हीकल्स एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट इज बेस्ड ऑन द टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम बेस्ड ऑन टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम वी डिवाइड ऑटोमोबाइल फर्स्ट इज अ ऑटोमेटिक ट्रांसमिशन व्हीकल विच इज यूज इन मोस्टली अमेरिकन अमेरिकन्स ओके ऑटोमेटिक ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम इन दिस नो गियर शिफ्टिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड वन टू थ्री ओनली जस्ट ऑटोमेटिक बेस वन टू थ्री एंड फोर दैट इज ऑटोमेटिकली इन विच टॉर कन्वर्टर आर यूज ओके टॉर कन्वर्टर्स एंड एक्सेट्रा कंपोनेंट आर यूज ओके दैट्स ऑटोमोबाइल ऑटोमेटिक ट्रांसमिशन व्हीकल next is a conventional transmission system nowadays indians are used a conventional transmission system most indian vehicles are conventional type okay semi automatic transmission system vehicles mostly british vehicles are semi automatic transmission vehicle next based on make and model various company makes their own vehicles according to their design and their manufacturing condition and make its name itself like a tata motors ford motors okay chevrolet chevrolet hyundai tata etc that's make and model according to make and model okay next with respect to drive okay first is left hand drive vehicle right hand drive vehicle fluid drive vehicle rear wheel drive vehicle front wheel drive vehicle and all wheel drive vehicle all wheel drive is a two drive awd all wheel drive or four wheel drive okay four wd so uh, in discuss we will uh, learn about the front wheel drive rear wheel drive and all wheel drive it is three types of mainly uh, in exams asked in you know, a 7 to 8 marks like a front rear wheel drive what is the meaning of rear wheel drive and uh, advantages disadvantages front wheel drive its advantages disadvantages and what is the four wheel drive and difference uh, difference among these three what is the difference and left hand wheel drive and rear wheel drive you already know what is the left hand wheel drive and right hand wheel drive next with respect to the suspension system conventional like leaf spring which is used to bear the load that is a conventional and independent like co uh, coil torsional bar mag person strut are used like according to suspension system with respect to the tire uh, type of engine okay reciprocating piston type engine and rotary like bankel engine gas turbine engine with respect to the body and doors okay sedan segment hatchback Uh, station wagon a uh, convertible a uh, sport utility vehicle that is a suv we known as a suv that means it make for sports purpose and utility to bear a high uh, load which is used that's why known as a sports utility vehicle it is a combination sports and utility vehicles okay next delivery vans etc okay multi utility vehicle is also one type of automobile mv or mpv okay next is based on the number of wheel number of wheels based on number of wheels that means uh, two wheeler three wheeler four wheeler six wheeler that is based on number of wheels okay. next layout of automobile layout of transmission system basically three type front wheel drive so rear wheel drive and all wheel drive in front wheel drive what happen in front wheel drive the engine front engine front wheel drive. that means if this is the our vehicles this is our vehicle and four wheels are there okay and this is the front side and this is our rear side if engine is placed here engine is placed here and power is transmitted to this front wheel then it is called front wheel drive similarly front engine and power is transmitted to this rear wheel drive is called rear wheel drive and next is all wheel drive that means power is transmitted to this four wheels is known as a four wheel drive so uh, up to this we stop the our lectures and in le next lecture we discuss the front wheel drive rear wheel drive and all wheel drive in very discussed manner which is very important for your exam thank you so much